What? You're still here? Didn't I tell you to go home? Come on, scram! Go home! Go home! Yeah, well anyways, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review Phelous Beeler's Day Off, okay? Now, you know, the movie starts off, of course, with, uh, you know, Phelous in bed. And, of course, that he's playing sick. And, of course, that he just, uh, you know, is playing sick so that he could go somewhere, right? So, yeah, um, pretty much what happens is, um, you know, his parents leave him at home, this and that. He calls Cameron, and, you know, uh, Cameron is supposed to pick him up or something. <clears throat> Excuse me, something like that. Okay, uh, mainly what happens is uh, Ed Rooney is on his ass. And, of course, that Phelous was skipping a lot of days from school. Okay, now, you know, Ed Rooney, which is, you know, him right here. Yeah. It was pretty much on uh, Phelous's ass, okay? And, you know, now, you know, he's trying to catch uh, Phelous, you know? And, of course, that, you know, uh, Ferris uh, wants to pick up her from school, you know, his girlfriend or whatever. And, uh, you know, mainly uh, what happens is, you know, he's asking Cameron if, if they could get Cameron's dad's car. Uh, the red uh, car. I forgot the name of the car. I'm sorry. So, okay. So, mainly what happens is, uh, you know, they get the car. They pick her up from school. But, of course, that Ferris's dad has to, uh, you know... No, not Ferris's dad. What, what the fuck am I talking about? That he has to play the part of her dad. So, yeah, pretty much they pick her up from the school. They they, they go back home real quick, change, change the voicemails, you know. And then, um, let's see, what else happens? Yeah, so pretty much they go into the city. They leave the car with, uh, you know, the valet. And the valet take it out for a ride for fun. Okay, so um, mainly, uh, you know, Ferris, Ferris is out in the city wanting to have fun, this and that, you know. Of course, that, you know, they go to a museum, they go to a, sa a sausage restaurant, you know, things like that, okay. And, you know, Ed Rooney sees Ferris on the TV and he's like, what the, what the fuck, I thought I'd just seen uh, Ferris on the TV or some shit like that. You know, so, um, pretty much what happens is, of course, that, you know, Ed Rooney goes over to Ferris's house, you know, uh, Ferris's sister's there, you know, um, mainly she's bothered by Ed Rooney, of course, you know, calling the cops on him, this and that, whatever, or some shit like that, all right? So, yeah, uh, pretty much, uh, what happens from there, you know, um, Cameron's in shock because of what happened to the car, this and that, you know. Uh, let's see, what else happens? Uh, you know, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Damn, it's been so long since i ever seen the movie. I'm going off memory by here. You know, but uh, mainly what happens is, of course, that, you know, let me just end it off right here. You know, um, Ferris tries to run home, and of course his parents is going home, he's like, oh shit, I gotta get home before they go home, so yeah, um, pretty much, uh, you know, Ed Rooney is, uh, you know, trying to catch Beeler, and, you know, has a little talk with him in the backyard, and of course that, you know, his sister comes out to save his ass, and of course she throws Ed Rooney's keys into the the quicksand or whatever, and then the dog attacks him. So yeah, um, pretty much the movie has a happy ending, you know, and the ending credits, of course, which is fucking awesome. You know, you see Ed Rooney just walking on the sidewalk, and then getting in the bus, and it it's just a weird, it's just a weird ending at the ending credits, you know. And then you have the part which I did. What you you guys are still here? Really? You're still here? Go home! Scram! Scram! Yeah, so pretty much this is a very good movie.
You know, I love this movie, man. You know, but you gotta be in a good mood, though, for real. You really gotta be in a good mood, you know? Just saying, though. You really got to be in a good mood, all right? To, to watch this movie. You know, and I gotta say, uh, this movie gets five out of five. Um, you know, the cinematography is great. The visuals is great. Everything is great about this movie. You know, also, this is one of my favorite John Hughes films, you know. And this is my favorite performance by Matthew Broderick. Seriously. I think he fits the role, you know. He just sort of does fit the role, or he does. He does. This is one of my favorite roles that he did. You know, because everything else he's fine in, but this is just my favorite role. You know, it fits him. It does really fit him, and I'm not lying about that. It does really fit him. Yeah, you know, and uh, mainly uh, the guy that played Ed Rooney, you know, he's in other films. He's in uh, Howard the Duck. He's in, I think, uh, what's that? what's that movie called? Stay Tuned. And, of course, Who's Your Caddy and many other movies as well. So, yeah. Um, let's see. The acting is top-notch. You know, the comedy is top-notch. Everything about this movie is top-notch. You know, if uh, you never watched it, then you must have been living under a rock, seriously. You know, just look at look for this uh, movie at your local Target or Best Buy or wherever you go to buy movies, you know. But yeah, if you've never seen this before, then, you know, uh, buy it and watch it. That's all I gotta say. And let's see, we have a shitload of features, man. Or just like maybe like three features, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much so. But yeah, this is my movie review for Ferris Bueller's Day Out. Go check it out. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.